Welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card forecast for this week. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to click that little bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings go out for you to view. And also when I choose to go live and give out free card messages and spirit messages. As you know, this is strictly a general collective reading and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry may resonate with every single one of you. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe for others. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any personal questions then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information is posted below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, please view this video with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life you desire and the direction you wish to go on this personal journey. So let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Sagittarians. I'm Brenda and I'm here today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card reading for the week of January the 3rd to the 10th 2021. Happy 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 new year as we move into this brand new year of change, transformation, healing and a new way of looking at our lives. Looking at your energy cards, your beautiful energy card from the tea leaf deck is hills, obstacles to overcome. So, you know, looking at your general reading here, I can see that there may be some things that you're moving away from and you're going into new, a new direction, taking on a lot of extra work, perhaps, uh, that you might be taking on more than you can actually, actually handle. So just beware of that, be conscious of that. You know, you might be trying to, you know, uh, make a mountain out of a molehill in the process. So just one step in front of the other as you process and you work your way through some changes here this week. Your other, you know, your second energy card here is from the Time to Shine deck. This is the wisdom section and this is all about success, okay? It's time to enjoy success, happiness and joy. Act on brilliant, optimistic new ideas. So I think you're moving in a new direction. You're going through transformation as well. Uh, I do see that you're going to be getting that here. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is really good harmony in your family relationships and stability financially. I think that you're going to be stepping up and thinking about taking on a new position here, standing up for yourself, being your own leader, promoting yourself, perhaps teaching, but I think you're going to be a team player here. You could be taking on a new position at your place of employment or your career where you're bringing in a team into the equation here. You won't be working uh, independently and alone. However, you have the ability to articulately stand up and creatively express what you have to offer, your gifts and teaching. Now, again, be careful that you don't take on more than you can chew. Um, I think you're, you felt like you were pushing dead weight up a hill. You might have felt you had, uh, um, you know, you had a deadline to get something done and you really pushed through. But once you realize that you can allocate some of those jobs to other people and lighten your load, you'll be able to do that. I think I can see you doing that to move forward. Something's ending here. Something's over here. Uh, you know, you're going in a new direction. I think that you, uh, you know, could it be anything? It could be the end of a job, a contract, a phase in your life, or even a relationship that's ended. But I want you to look at your future now with promise, a new direction. Often what happens is meant to happen, and it's divine timing that steps up and says, yeah, this is done and done, and it's time for you to go in a new direction. You may have felt as though you were missing an opportunity, you were bored, you were stagnant, you were in a position where you thought things weren't going to change and get better. And then once you realize that you have 
to keep your mind open and that there's always going to be new opportunities and offers and doors opening for you to go through if you leave behind what has held you back. I think, you know, you're all over energy. Crowning energy here is beautiful. You have the Queen of Cups. She is a beautiful energy. She could be somebody coming into you to help you, to mentor you, to guide you, uh, to soothe you and to teach you. Uh, she could be a water sign. She could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that enters your life. She has that ability to put herself in your shoes, to know how you feel, how you tick, to, to, to deal with you, to, to guide, mentor, and soothe and heal you. Uh, she is quite the mother figure. There could be somebody coming into your life, a new child, a rebirth of some sort. Uh, again, you know, you're taking on the leadership role here. You've got the emperor. And that means that you now, uh, you know, can sit back, relax a little bit. You know, I see this happening here with the three of pentacles as well. The emperor says, you know, you're the boss. Maybe you've been asked to step up and take a position somewhere where you are going to be leading a team of people or mentoring, teaching, and guiding uh, other people. But you're going to be able to do it with ease. So I wouldn't worry about that. You definitely are leaving troubled waters to go to calmer shores here. The Six of Swords shows up. And that means that you, you're, something's finished here. Okay, you're moving on. You completed something. It's over. And now you're going in a new direction. It could be a relationship. It could be, like I said, a job, uh, uh, you know, that you, or, or, you know, some sort of a job that's over now and you're moving on. But it could be a relationship too. But there will always be some challenges along the way. I mean, he, she's out in a boat. She's heading out to sea. She knows there's a new new direction that's going to be better for her. But, you know, she could hit a storm along the way. And so don't be afraid of that. Just keep moving forward in that positive direction. Look at your future here with vision. You know, this isn't an ominous picture here. This is a beautiful picture of a star and it's lit up and you're following that star to your happiness. You are the star here that can make your happiness. And remember, I tell people this all the time. The universe isn't, uh, you know, the universe is reacting to you, not happening to you. So what you put out there, you're going to get back. You've got the, this has come up other, for others as well. This is the Page of Cups. And again, could be a water sign, male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And they're going to come into your life and they're going to spin your head around and they're going to be very different. However, you will connect on, the, on, on a level where they're a bit psychic and they're very intuitive and sensitive. So Sagittarius, I think you're going to find them interesting, but I think you're going to find them different as well. And this may deter you from wanting to uh, get closer to them. They want to get close to you. Whoever this is, is, they're coming in towards you. And they truly want to give you their hand and attention, affection, appreciation, respect gratitude, whatever, and you you might think, oh, I don't know, they seem to be a little bit young, younger than me, they, you know, whatever, they're different. Uh, keep your options open, my beautiful Sagittarius, because I think they're going to be a beautiful distraction. I think they'll be of interest for you. They may not be here forever. They could be a temporary distraction, but I think you'll enjoy their company. Uh, this is going to take a relationship to the next level. Maybe some of you are, are mentoring and taking care of and taking the motherly and leadership role for some child or some youth. Okay, some, some teenager or young person, male or female, that you might be taking on. And this relationship could get closer, maybe on an emotional friendship level, not just a romantic level. For others, it could be. But I think that you're going to be surrounding yourself with this youthfulness. And I think it's going to be a good thing for you. There'll be harmony here. There'll be happiness here. Okay, let's see what we have for our clarification cards. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the rider. I didn't do your final energy card. You got the rider. And I love this card because usually the rider refers to getting mail or information or text or a letter of some sort of really good news. And, you know, a previously stalled situation now is set in motion again. And, you know, life in the in whole is gaining momentum. So you're, things are going to start picking up, okay? But you need, to, there's going to be a commitment coming in that you need to step up to as well. And, you know, this could be someone here as well because it refers to a familiar person enters your life, a familiar energy enters that. And it could be uh, this particular page of cups. So, you know, this is all about you receiving good news about something. Something's going to make you happy. And it could also be good news that this person's stepping up here, coming in towards you. Okay, let's see what we have here. 
clarification for our Queen of Cups. Oops, wrong deck. Hang on. I want to shuffle this again, everybody. I got a quick text from a friend of mine in New York, and she asked me a question, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull cards on this for her, and I did, and I picked up my clarification deck here. So I want to be sure this is clear for my beautiful Sagittarius Spirit Guides Angels. Stop. Okay, thank you. All right. So let's see what we have here. You've got the world on top of the Queen of Cups. So this is you making your mark on the world, realizing that the world is your oyster. You can do the changes, make the changes, go towards your goals that you want to go towards. This is a beautiful card. It's a positive card that says you could be going the distance, having to get out there and push yourself through something here. Okay, just don't take on the burdens of other people. Um, you know, you might have pushed yourself towards these goals that you want so that you can, you can develop and, and receive the fulfillment that you want by being a good team player. So this is your you making your mark on the world here. You realize that you have to soothe and take care of yourself as well as being able to take care of business. Moving in a new direction, the death card, endings, new beginnings. You've got the four of pentacles. Don't get stuck. Uh, don't get stuck in your ways here, okay? This is the, the card of the extremes in which you spend your money or you don't, or you save your money. But it's also the extremes in how you use your energy. Are you overexerting yourself? I think you were. It's over now, okay? Overexerting yourself, pushing yourself really hard towards your goal or towards something that you wanted to do. But I think, you know, you, you, there could be obstacles that you had to overcome, right? You had to overcome these obstacles. So that's what you did. But you need to stay open-minded here, okay? Don't, uh, don't get caught up in your head. Don't overspend your money before, you know, uh, you, you've got it in the bank, so to say. Also, be careful of how much time you give to other people. It's okay, you know, to give some of your time, but all of your time will leave you depleted and feel used. Uh, also, don't lock yourself away, okay? Don't remove yourself from this. You're going in a new direction. Don't be afraid to do that. <clears throat> and here's your new direction. Absolutely. You've got the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, again, could refer to this page over here. But this is somebody from your past returning. They could be coming with their hand in appreciation, affection, and apology, respect, gratitude, uh, friendship any kind of support that they come in with. So that's a great thing. They could be a little bit younger than you, or they could be somebody you knew back when you were much younger. Maybe you went to school together with this individual. This also refers to you having interaction and being with children or a child, a youth, somebody around you that you might be having dealings with <clears throat> this week. Also, it's you supposed to tap into your inner child, okay? So when we play with a child, we act like a child. We see the world through their eyes, right? Here is your Four of Cups. And I told you, you know, feeling bored and like, you know, you missed an opportunity and things aren't going to improve. Instead of looking at the whole picture here, being able to realize that you have options and opportunities and be willing to be flexible. Be willing to, to for change. Something new coming into you with this death card. Queen of Swords, yeah, you cleaned house. Basically, getting got rid of things that no longer serve you. That's what she does. And you could be thinking about that. Oh, my gosh, I did this, I did that. No, don't. Realize that if you had to do this, it was because it wasn't working out for you. That's what she does. She cuts the cord. She clears house. She gets rid of anything that isn't helping her grow, expand, and move forward on her path in a successful way. Her happiness. So, you know, we have to cut cords now and then, and that's when the death card comes into play. And that means you had to do what you had to do for your greater good. And you know what? You were a team player. You are a team player. And for some of you, you know, you could be moving into a job where you're being called up to be head of something. Okay? You've got temperance. It might not be happening as fast as you want. You could have got an offer, an opportunity, and you're waiting now to hear their reaction and how they're going to respond to something. But this is about doing things in moderation, not jumping into the quicksand and then trying to figure out how you're going to swim your way out of it. It's all about you taking your time, okay? So it's with, you know, compassion, communication, sometimes compromise comes into play here when we have to take our time. So this is you thinking about, you know, what you're going to do when you get out, when, when, when you're out of this, temp this slow mode here. Beautiful card, prosperity, harmony, happiness. 
You've got the five of swords. So you might have had to fight something here to get your happiness, work towards it. Or you could have dealt with somebody in a legal way. Okay, so, you know, I don't know. Maybe some of you were fighting for custody in a legal dispute and you've got it. You won it because this is a card that says you won a very difficult battle here. And it came with risks and it came with consequences. And sometimes looking back, you think, you know, I won, but why did it have to come to this? Okay, but you're definitely going to find harmony and, you, and you're going to win this battle. Stepping up and having being independent, being confident and being your own boss. You might have locked horns with somebody through this process. The two of swords could have been somebody, you know, that you had to make a decision with and neither one of you could make it. And it comes down to not seeing the picture in complete clarity. Once you remove the blindfolds, you see the whole story, the whole picture. You, you can put the swords down. There's no more battle. There's no more sparring partner here to fight with. You're going to make a decision and it will work out in your favor for you to be independent here and strong. Moving in your new in, in a new direction away from those troubled waters. You get the Page of Wands. Another message comes in. You have the Page of Cups. Now you have the Page of Wands. This is a beautiful opportunity for you to grasp onto. Do it with confidence. Take up the leadership role. Some of you may be getting offered something here, and a really, really good opportunity for something that you may, ha you may not have expected that you could do. But you made that decision and you're moving on towards it. So this is the card, you know, when we speak of, of the wands, we talk about, you know, um, action taking place, you know, and moving forward. It's all about, uh, you know, ready to take action and, and, and moving forward towards your goals. You're going to get an opportunity that's going to come in in a message here from this page. Your page of cups. Again, somebody coming in, but I think it could be on a different level. You've got the Emperor again twice. So you're taking the lead. I think you might be actually mentoring, teaching, guiding, or disciplining a youth here for some of you. Could be your own child. It could be somebody else's child. Uh, you might have stepped up and they've come towards you for your help and, and your maternal instincts here with the Queen of Cups. Being able to mentor and soothe them through some situation here. Wow. Interesting. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarians, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. So there's some good news coming in with the rider. And everything has to do with divine timing here. Okay? So here's the divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. And you know what? It makes a lot of sense here because you did get the temperance card along with that. And things might not be happening as quickly as you want. So just maintain your stability, your balance, and your patience. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers are that you stay in good all over well-being, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually healthy. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.